Hi lovies! Welcome back to Missy Journals. This is a little bit of a different view for you guys because I have a fun video for you. This is my little crafty space. I move forward here. As you can see, there is <laughs> my desk and some of my craft supplies. And as you can probably tell, it's a mess. So I want to bring some organization to my craft cart behind me using some Dollar Tree products, including the caboodle that I hauled in my last Dollar Tree haul where I was in my car. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I just wanted to give you a different little angle of all of my craft things. And it's a mess. You're going to see my craft cart in a few minutes a little bit more up close. And before I get off here, I should tell you, um, it is rose gold and I got my craft cart at Michael's on sale. I don't know, for like 30 some dollars or something like that. And we are going to bring organization to it because when you see it, you're going to understand it's become my catch all and it's just a disaster. It's a mess <laughs> and it really needs organization. And I hate when my craft stuff is all over the place because it makes me feel unorganized and then I'm not inspired to come in here and craft and do all the things that I really love. So I guess that's enough of an intro. Let's do this. So guys, this is very raw and this is very real and this is my crafting mess. <laughs> so here is my crafting cart in all of its filthy, disgusting mess. <laughs> Those are my crafting drawers over there. That's where I keep most of my supplies and things like that. But that stays very organized because I'm not in that all the time. But because this sits next to my desk, it has become, like I said in my intro, my complete and total catch-all. And it has become a mess. A mess, y'all. So I even have some of the new things that I bought from the Dollar Tree sitting on here. And, of course, I have my Dollar Tree craft supply that's going to become my containers. I'm so excited to use these. I'm so excited to get some stuff off of my desk. So what I'm going to begin to do, um, I also have some of these too. I wanted to show you that are our mess and are going to be organized and clean too, are these bins that come from the Dollar Tree. So I'm hoping to get some of these organized and get them in there as well. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to find an angle that works so that you guys can see the whole cart and I'm going to work at it. I don't think I'm going to talk while I do it. If the video gets too long or such, I will speed it up a little bit and do a voiceover because I just don't know how long it's going to take me to do this. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to show you in my cart kind of what's going on. So I'm going to move the camera. I hope I can do this without being too bouncy. But as you can see, the top is my catch-all. There's all kinds of crap in that. <laughs> okay, hopefully this won't get too bouncy, okay? And then my second shelf down here, um, it has a lot of my watercolors, my pencils, and things of that nature. And then my very bottom row, you're gonna catch my knee down there. I'm actually going to move all of those onto my bookcase that you guys saw in the beginning of my video that sits on the other side of my craft supplies. And it is five containers. Let me show you five, if I can grab them, five containers full of washi, of just like this. Washi, 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 tons. I have five of these full. And then I have a bag and then I also have a, oh, let me grab it. <laughs> and then I also have a bucket that sits on my desk that's full of washi. But this is the washi that I'm using for the whole month of November. So my hope is to take this Dollar Tree container that's absolutely beautiful, perfect for fall, and get it in my craft cart because this is the washi that I'll be using for the month of November. So I want to get to these on my desk. I mean, my bookshelf, I'm sorry. So that is my organization plan. This is what I'm going for. And like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take. So I think I'm going to get you into an angle where you can see everything. And I might get sped up, set to some music, and I might do some voiceovers. And then I'll see you at the end.
Okay, lovies, now that I got that part all cleaned out, because my caboodle is the largest contained space and it has a lid, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use it as my catch-all. So these are all of my like odds and ends that are usually scattered all over my desk, but I use all the time. My bone folders, of course, glue sticks. I have um, my, my little containers that I mix my sequences up. I have my specialty scissors. I use twine all the time. Just everything that sits upon my desk that brings so much clutter, but I use very often. My sharpeners, all that stuff. I'm going to put in my caboodle because it's gonna be become, like I said, my little catch-all, but it's so cute and compact and I can close the lid and I don't have to look at it, but I know what's in it. <laughs> I love this caboodle for that. Oh, and who doesn't use a chapstick when they craft? Um, when I journal, this girl needs some chapstick. So they're always on my desk. That is the new Coca-Cola collection from the Dollar Tree. So it had to go in the caboodle because it's something that I use all the time when I journal and do my crafting. The next little container I'm gonna use from the Dollar Tree is the little one that has, it's made for holding index cards, but I think it'll be the perfect box once we rip off the label for my million and one <laughs> principles that I have cut out for the month of November for my gratitude journal, which by the way, guys, I'm doing a whole series. It's gratitude is my attitude with Missy Journal. So make sure you check out and wait for those videos. They're coming soon. But I spent like a whole morning cutting out a million printables and I feel like that little box is gonna be perfect for all of my printables for the month of November. And then I close it and I totally forget that I should add my favorite fussy cutting pair of scissors. So I had to reopen it and put my scissors back in there because I use those scissors specifically for fussy cutting. And I had to fussy cut all of those printables. Printables, I can speak. And this box is perfect for it. I love the shape, it's gonna be easy to grab, and of course, it's teal. So the next containers that I wanna get up here, up at the top, because they have some height to them, is the little metal containers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree that are very seasonal. One is Halloween, and I stuffed all of my pens, my pencils, my markers, my scissors, my rulers, everything like that in there. And then in the front, I'm going to put the more seasonal one for November, which is the one that says hello fall, full of the washi that I want to use for the month of November. And then that little mug in the back has my Tombos. Those are things that I grab constantly when I am journaling. So I want them up front and close and they have the most height. So I'm going to add my little tape gun or my tape runner here. And I think I have my top shelf done. So next we go on to the second shelf and we have to clean it out. This shelf takes me some time. I have to like pull things out, put it back, that kind of thing to get it all to fit. But I use a lot of the white containers that you can get from the Dollar Tree because they're flatter and shorter. And <laughs> this one took me some time. So I sped this up just a little tiny bit so the video wasn't really, really lengthy. But my plans for the shelf is to kind of keep the same things that I had on it, things that I use but not every day. And I keep my colored pencils and my watercolor pencils and things like that separate from those other um, like pens and pencils and things that were in that Halloween bucket. So they have, I kind of keep them in the boxes that they originally come from. And then I have a bunch of um, Tim Holtz distressed, um, I think they're called crayons. Is that what they are? Yes. The distress crayons. I love to use those in my Bible journaling, but I don't do that every day. And I also don't watercolor every day. So those things, that's why they get a second shelf, but I do use them often. So I think this little white container fits perfect. And then I remember, oh, I forgot. 
I forgot <laughs> my little baggie here. This contains my um, glue gun and then it contains um, my fuse tool. So again, not things I use all the time, but things I want to be able to grab easily. So I have it in that cute little do what you love bag off to the side. And then I actually take that little box that I just placed on there that holds the film and the ink for my little digital printer, which I will be using quite a bit for the month of November. It prevents me from being able to put one of these long, skinny um, white trays that I picked up from the Dollar Tree in there. So I'll actually like pull it out, take the film out and put that somewhere else so that I could put these little trays in there. And then I also want to include my little pouch that has all of my planner and goodies that I'm using in my traveler's notebook for my gratitude journal this month. I have a video on all that if you guys are interested in what that little baggie with the lion on it is all about I will link it down below but again it's something that I want to be able to grab very easily but something that I probably won't use every day so I really love how this shelf is coming together it just takes me some time to get it to there as you can see I have to I put things in take it out remove it and I think it ends up working fantastic and I love these little containers from the Dollar Tree they work great So now I'm taking my washi containers, which the fifth one is already on there because it's Christmas, I had set it aside, <laughs> and finishing cleaning it out, and then I'm going to bring some order to the bottom. And like I told you in the earlier video, I already had some of these white baskets used from the Dollar Tree, and one of the things that I grab often is my inking. So I love that it was a mess and that I was able to organize it and bring beauty to it. Those Tombos I talk about all the time. I keep those separate from my other ones because they're used for specific things. Again, my cutter is something that I use often, but not all the time. And I definitely use tons of ribbon, but again, not all the time <laughs> when I do my tags and stuff. And even in my junk journaling, I love to have all that frilly fun ribbon and some double-sided tape. So things, my cart really was just organized in a way that works for me. My most used things to my second, like most used things to the things that I use often, but not all the time. And then this little guy here, just in case anybody wonders, is sometimes I get different angles um, in my filming and I use this like little selfie stick with a tripod to get different angles when I film. And again, I don't use it all the time, so that's why it's on the bottom shelf. And there we go. I think it turned out really cute and it's mostly all organized by Dollar Tree products. I think it did a marvelous job in making the total chaos that my cart was before into this beautiful, organized, wonderful cart that you see now before you that will totally keep me inspired to keep coming back to do my journaling and create because now it's beautiful, compact, and clean, and most importantly, organized. <laughs> and it didn't cost me a fortune, and I even got a little ladies vibe going on with my adorable little caboodle. I love those things. And if anybody wonders, I found out they come in three different colors, that teal color that I have, purple and pink. You guys need to run to the DT and get one of those because they are great. And as you can see, they were perfect in these carts from Michaels. The Dollar Tree really is the best place to go to get anything that you want for organization. I might just have to take you back to the DT and show you some of my favorite organization videos. If you'd want to see that, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. So guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed my organization cart video using some Dollar Tree supplies. It was quick, it was easy, it was fun. And now I think I really will be inspired to come back and do what I wanna do in this space and feel more organized and not clutter. I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate clutter and it like zaps my creative spark, so. Now that I am clutter free and more organized, thanks to the Dollar Tree, I have some crafting to do. So I'm going to go. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. And as always, stay creative and journal what you love. Until the next time, guys. Bye.